Welcome to my studio. Um, my name is uh, Adler Guerrier. Um, I'm based here in Miami. I make artwork about place, and the artworks really begin with this idea of what does the urban landscape look like, how is it shaped, and how it takes on significance. There's an interesting proposition with, with place. Everyone's from somewhere, everyone lives somewhere, everyone kind of chooses to live somewhere, um, or is forced to live somewhere. <laughs> but um, the, way we, the place that we identify with it's a, it's a different level of connection. There's a story we tell about where we, where we are, where we come from, or where we want to be. That story, in essence, is what makes up of one's identity, right? It's what we connect with. Either this is that restaurant that, you know, your parents met and blah, 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 and therefore, you, every time you see it, even though you've never eaten there, and it's no longer a restaurant, it's an a bank now, but you still identify that building, that intersection with your own personal narrative. The show's title, Adler Guerrier, Formulating a Plot. Um, and the title comes from what, what a judge said about a playwright, Amari Baraka. So the story, pretty much, in 1967, there was these riots in Newark. There were riots everywhere. Um, and Omari Baraka, was, he was arrested. And the judge pretty much said something like, um, uh, you were found to be participant in formulating a plot to incite riot in the city of Newark. Formulating a plot is come from, from that event. But I also like it because plot, you know, make reference to narration, but the plot also make reference to, you know, a uh, delineated space. So plot is place, plot is, uh, is somewhere. The stories we tell about a place is what makes a place. Um, as much as other things that make place, but the stories we tell actually makes a place worthwhile, let's put it that way. So we're in 62nd Street and North East 2nd. Yeah, it's a place that I've driven by a lot but uh, only photographed once because of the bush. And this is where it's not so much of the plant that becomes the subject, it's how the plant in this place became an opportunity to document an aspect of the neighborhood. So it's as much about Lemon City, it's as much about Lemon City becoming Little Haiti, it's as much about growth or lack thereof because there was a business here that sort of went away. Um, it's a layering of all those things and how, in a way, the plants is, are witness to that or are on the edge of that wave of development. That's, that was my interest. I can't tell who's running for this, but you know, it's quite literally connected to, uh, to something with the city, you know, a commission district or whatever. So this is where object in the landscape, like like the piece of trash, object on the landscape that has a connection to a real place and also have a connection to, you know, uh, the campaigning and the democratic process because that's what the original intent was for, you know, to someone asking for your vote for, so they can serve. Um, so we can connect all of that to an object, to a very specific place. These these sculptures attempt to embody the same sense of being a marker, but they are detached. They are totally detached from the landscape that they were found. They they tend to point towards something, sculptural object. They become a platform that, as a marker, I can make reference to a place. I can make reference to another work, and I can build my narrative about a place through the layering of object. So that's one of those things that that tend to happen. Whereas Real things, real objects take larger significance, and I'm trying to emulate that in the practice for a sculptural object. So that's that's one of those things that um, that is best illustrated here. Hopefully, we can do that at Pam as well. I think we can.